kupiga na kutuharibia mali yetu wameharibu vitu zetu wametunyang'anya masimu wametuumiza ile kabisa sasa mimi nataka kusema hivi hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza ndio tulipigania I'm one of the chief campaign campaigners of Kenya kwanza government I'm among the very first people that started selling and campaigning for his excellency William Ruto truly I wasn't campaigning to be repaid like this I wasn't campaigning for land grabbers to come and start claiming that our church properties are their properties. We cannot lose properties in this country. Now, ni wengi, wamekuja wanasema ni NIS, wengine wanasema ni DCIO, wengine ni police ni wengi. So definitely government is hope and it it is sad. Very sad that this is the government that we campaigned for. I'm yet to believe that they can do this to me. I'm the one who sold Kenya Kwanza UDA in Nairobi County. I'm the one who gave them a platform. Leave alone that. I'm the one who gave them a vision for Nairobi. And today, look at what we are suffering. Ukiingia huku ndani kumejaa police and they are all armed. Wametunyang'anya vitu zetu, wamechukua simu, wametupiga. Me I have to go to hospital. Sasa hivi nimekunywa pain killers ndio nifike hapa. So I go have to rush to hospital kujaribu kuona vile nitatibiwa miguu na mikono. It, it, it is sad. It is very very sad. Pengine tumeambishwa kuweza tueleza wamekubainia kimi hasa cha kwa. Hapana, hakuna mtu anatuambia wanafanya nini, wanasema tu wametumwa na MD wa railways. Na MD wa railways ajue. Hapa hakuna property ya railways. Na MD wa railways ajue. Kuna Mungu mbinguni. Bila mnazemanga nyinyi kwa serikali kuna Mungu mbinguni hata kwetu kwa makanisa kuna Mungu mbinguni if anybody in Kenya kwanza government can dare touch my properties je na wale raia wenye hawana mtu wa kuwasaidia wale raia wenye hawana mwenyewe if Jesus is alive ministries is under attack today how about the common mwananchi tutahamia wapi tutaenda wapi serikali yetu yenyewe ndio inatupiga where are we going to go where are we going to run mimi mwenyewe nimesalimia watu wa DCIO hapa nikawaambia karibuni mtu wakolee kumbe they are coming to reinforce their NIS brothers alafu wakaitaka wengine so you can really see tumefika place we are sisi ndio watu na mtu akutusaidia kwa mahali ya kukimbia lakini kuna Mungu mbinguni acha tuone wamebomoa huko nyuma kuna ukuta wanabomoa huko hata saa hii waimesimamiwa wanabomoa wamebomoa wabomea huko na walikuwa wamekuja tena tarehe kumi mwezi wa februari wakaanza kubomoa from hapa from the start sasa nasi tulikuwa na harusi kanisa ilikuwa imejaa watu the wall that you are mentioning the bishop is it the same wall that you moved to yes it is the, it is the same wall and it is the same wall that they had demolished actually demolished my wall to put their wall so now they are coming to demolish again and it is because the court case is coming up so they are trying to protect themselves at your wajafunga jia unajua jaji hakuja kuona amerudi nini so they are coming out they are trying to cover up themselves which one to one hata bikuni kuna sheria acha duniani hata bikuni kuna sheria hey guys i have to go to i have to go to to hospital mheshimiwa mwago is here with us so nimekuja hapa leo hii attack ni happen hapa Kiambu. I've been a member of this church to Kaliko Protokdo and there have never been any land issue. Na tuipangi mali ya watu sisi. Ni wenye na kama nilikuja kama mbunge to find out the truth. These guys have come invaded this place. Hawana any court order, hawana any eviction, they have nothing. They are just claiming they are from orders from above. And it is good that they have admitted there is a force behind it. MD Mainga is a person that ofisi yake kwa hapa less than 200 meters ni mtu mwenye anajua bishop kwa a very long time alikuwa anafaa kuja hapa atuambie kinaganaga atuambie but you can see there is another force yenye iko nyuma yenye anataka kugrabisha mbaye yake kwa hapa and there's nothing short of that kwa sababu huwezi ingia kwa shamba ya mtu bila ene na hii kuna kesi hadi kotini even the respect for the rule of law it is lacking in this administration ili ile serikali yenye sisi tulisema ndo na matokeo yake and you can see what they are doing If you're pressing even their biggest campaigners, you can only imagine what they are doing with us, with the taxes and everything. Anu watu wenye wana uruma na sisi. Na sisi tunasema hivi. Kama mtu amefika mahali mpaka na grab shamba ya kanisa, that's not a human being. And we are going to deal with them, kwa sababu Kenya pia inatawaliwa na sheria. Na wezi tuambia, there's nobody above the law. We are not going to take this lying down, we are going to get to the bottom of this matter.
Kwa sababu ukikubali hii na sasa wale wanyonge. Eh wale hawana mtu wa kutetea. Eh? Hii kanisa nyinyi wote mnajua imekuwa hapa kwa miaka mingi sana. Kama sasa hizo wameanza ku invade hapa. Na sasa wakianza kutafuta wale watu wengine. Can Sisi hatutakubali. Uh, maybe elaborate and make it clear. Is the church on leave? Is no, it no, on no. rent? No no no. no. What is the church? We have our title deeds my dear. This is our property we bought. We have title deeds. We have no debt we own no man. That property is ours. This, this property is ours. We even have approvals yes. to build a twin tower. Yes. From the county government, from all the... the, the our property is even under construction yeah. as it is. You can see this is under construction. Yes. We are building a twin tower that is good. So it's something that we may approve by all state agencies. So, I'm going to build a chamber. Lord Stark Valley. Na hii ni kitu enye tutapika nao kwa koti, tutapika nao kwa kanisa hadi tupate our right. Kwa hivyo wa isu ilato hatu na nila lehe kanyi yato hivyo ilaya dato Nia di deshi ya muna okira roshine Eshi liyewo kako hudia kanita ya hako wa Kana aburoti ili kanina kanita ya hako wa Nia deshi liyo kwa kwa liya ma Atero niwa kiri kari ya toa kampe ina ile utu kona mudanya Toke hudera hape esha chito Niwa riwe ratu tunya ido chito Niwa ratu tunya aburoti chito For real Kona direte kia Nani mego yetono ya marenda Kona ibere Kwa isha niya nini wake ya kuna sheria katika hii inche So let us fight it out legally. What the villa wanna say, ma? What are you going to be up? Property are really nigani. I'm not going to property are really where Rugalay. But Rugalay is near. Near investors when you are making your properties. What is the next move? Have they given you a budget? Have they come back? Have they told you? No, they have not said anything. No, they have not said anything. They have actually pushed us by beating us. So I have to go to hospital. They've broken our legs. They've broken our hands. They've taken our phones. They've taken our money. They've taken our car keys. Even as it is, I have to look for support to take me to hospital. They will take in our khakis. Were you given notice that they will no. be coming to me? No, no notice, no court order, nothing, absolutely nothing. It is not a proper land grabbing. But it is not a land grabbing. So you can imagine.